So I have just taken a good shower and I'm standing there against against the wall. I'm warm. Me pulling the towel off of the door to dry off caused that draft, that wind that hit me and my knees buckled, temperature sensitivity. Down I went straight to the flow. That's how real it gets when you have temperature sensitivity. To everybody out there watching crime shows and documentaries, you are my damn me people. Yes, salute to you all because the conversations that we have on social media, the few times that we're texting and talking about these wild out things, that's the shit that makes me not even worry about my chronic illness, about my own disabilities. Dog, hearing about these Amish people and everything else that's going on in the world, Salute to y'all, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for your conversations. Y'all have a special one all month, July 1st. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos allowed me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendrick Avancho, agent of gratitude, because all I ever do is slide in with this gratitude journal and remind you to write down the stories the why stories, the crunk stories, the happy stories. Let your mind see. Write it down. Everything going on good. That way you can get over the abandonment. You can stop thinking about your chronic illness. You will stop tripping on the imposter syndrome. My intention today, do two rounds of self-care. I've got seven days in a row doing my one round after messing up. I had made it over a year. So I'm on my new streak. I want to get in two rounds on a Friday. It's July 1st. I want to start strong. Two rounds of self-care. That's my number one priority. Call to action on the Friday. So I got a homeboy on Clubhouse that's kicking off a room called Awesome Questions. That's where I want to go as my call to action. I want to make it there, support him, share the room, get in there, answer a few questions, do my thizzle. But my call to action is to go in there, support the homeboy. Yo, Bobbin, you're going to see me in there, man. Later. I learned something new today. And what I learned is that one of my favorite ESPN writers, talkers, Michael Smith, I didn't know the cat has been on Peacock with his homeboy, Michael Holly, and the two of them are on Peacock doing the whole talk show, Two Kings, talking about sports, entertainment, culture, politics, just two kings, two black men. I can't, all right, I, I watched one episode, loved it, and it, was, and, and it was some backups there. I didn't even see Michael Holly, didn't even see Michael Smith. But I'm already digging it. It's on Peacock. It is called Brother from Another. That's it. It's on Peacock. Brother from Another. Two men just talking about life, sports, everything going on. That's, that's the type of shit that I watch. King's Care. I'm going to get away from all the stuff. And I'm just going to listen to the homeboy. And jam that new ep and jam my latest episode, not episode, jam my latest audio book, Jim Butcher and the Dresden Falls. I'm like on chapter eight. He has a kid now. They've got his, his brother is a vampire. They got they, they got his brother locked up because they think his brother tried to kill somebody. This is gonna be wild out, dog. I'm already. It is different because he has a kid, but either way, it's, it's my favorite audio book. It's one of my favorite authors. So, the author's name is Jim Butcher. The book, I've just, I told you all about this a couple of days ago, Dresden Files. I'm on book number, I think it's book number 16, either 15 or 16. King's News. Okay, so I've already admitted, I watch a whole bunch of rom-coms. I watch all type of um, reality shows. It started off me thinking my wife watched it too much. I swear I did. I used to crack jokes on her. Now I'm in that shit harder she is. I watch my own reality shows. If she watches her own, I've gotten that crazy with it. Either way, so one of the ones that I've got off her, 
I'm st I stole from her. Now we watch it together. Now they did fiance. And there was the girl, Stephanie. She tried to go to Australia, meet up with another girl. It didn't work out. Yo, I did not know Stephanie had become a millionaire off of selling her farts. Yes, she was selling her farts for like a hundred, either a hundred or a thousand dollars a jar. An actual fart in a jar and tie that mug up and shipping it off to people. She hit the millions like that. And she ended up stopping earlier this year because she went to the hospital because all she was eating was like yogurt, eating beans all the time, trying to commit to this role and selling these damn farts in a jar. She hit a million dollars, dog, off of selling farts in a jar. Now she sells them by NFTs. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell? NFTs for farts in a jar. That's some wild out shit. I don't care what y'all say. That ain't even stop my scrolling. Cause that right there should let you know you can do any you can do any damn me thing you want to do. Farts in a jar, selling gratitude journals, doing your own speeches, running your own yo your own virtual university. Everything is out there. All the proof is out there, y'all. You just gotta get out there and go get it. You have to get out there and go get it. If somebody hit the millions off of selling farts in a jar, damn it, we can do some shit too. So get your shit together. Let's go. There's no more excuses. Let's go. My goal today, I want to put three stories and have them set up to go off on WordPress. I did this earlier this week. It did not get good results, but it sure made the day easier. So my idea is to put Three stories. I'm going to put them on WordPress. A 9 o'clock, an 11 o'clock, and I guess maybe a 3 o'clock. It's a Friday. I may even put a fourth, but I got, I'm going to put three. That's my goal today. Queen starts. Here we go. Life is full of obstacles, and we get to choose our paths. Almost everything we do is by choice. Whether we choose the right path depends on our outlook and ability to right the course if it seems wrong. When faced with a decision, take some time to tap into your intuition and find your inner compass. You already know the answer. It lies deep within you. Listen closely. I like that one. Yeah, it's been a few days since, I, since I've had one that I actually like. Here we go. Write about a decision you have on the horizon and how your thoughts and you go about making this decision you have on the horizon. Yo, I've been telling y'all I got the new career. This is not just a J-O-B or just over broke. This career at AAA, this is it, man. Like, I'm going to step into this. I'm going to use this, grow with this, build off this, and everything else has to go on the back burner. Everything else. The gratitude journal, doing this still early. I get up early and get that done. But everything else, it had to slow down. So, MOB, y'all know what we're doing. This right here will not stop. But everything else, I'm going to dive all the way into this career choice. Triple A, you have got a, you have sold me. I'm rocking, I'm rocking and rolling with the company. Gratitudes, yeah, here we go. Number one, I got all my computer stuff working, got everything glowing and going, I got my two screens. Your boy can finally do all his duties, earn his commissions, and move into the next month as a real outbound person. Boom, let's go, let's do this. I tell y'all, I wrote all that, man. I'm on this today, dog. I'm on this today, man. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Gratitude number two. Me. Gratitude number two. I found a spot to put my second computer. I can now easily go back and forth between the work computer. If I got to do some gratitude journal stuff, some website type stuff, I can get all that done real quick. And then nothing stops. Got that mug right up under here. So all I do is slide out the chair, meditate, and boom, I got my personal computer right there. It is going great. This is day number three 
It's going great. Going great. Loving it. Number three. My brother hooked my son up with some new slides. And I am grateful because the boy needed some new slides. And damn it, I'm not going to lie, dog. Daddy wanted to save a couple of dollars and do a few things, man. So shout out to my brother. A thousand thank yous. Got that boy some slides. Got him looking better, feeling better, going better. And got my pockets a little bit better. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I'm out. Thinking better. Being better starts with you getting a gratitude journal and following me every day on this journey. It all starts with you.